Okay, so from now on, on Fridays, I'm going to be doing an injury report. People who might or might not be able to make the field on Sunday for their respective team. The first and possibly the biggest one is Philadelphia quarterback Kevin Cobb. In the second quarter against Green Bay, he got concussed pretty badly. Is there a chance that he could possibly make it back in time for Week 2 versus Detroit? No. Not even close. He has already been ruled out by Coach Andy Reid. He is not going to play at all, period, versus Detroit. And odds are he's probably not going to play at Jacksonville in Week 3. The earliest we can realistically look at is Week 4 versus Washington. So I wouldn't hold your breath. Kevin Cobb, out for Week 2. Next up, we have Kellen Winslow. He was held out of practice on Wednesday, according to the Bucks team website. Something about his knee giving him problems, but I don't really think that this is going to be too much of a problem. you got to remember, he's had six surgical operations on that knee. He's probably just trying to prevent it from getting aggravated. He's going to start, and he's going to play, and he's going to get a lot of playing time. The only problem with that is he's playing for the Bucks. okay? So he's probably not going to get too much, maybe a few receptions for maybe 50 yards, possibly a touchdown if he gets lucky, but don't rely on him. That's all I'm going to say. I've already put him on my bench in favor of Chris Cooley, so that's how that's working out for me. Don't rely on him, but he's he's going to start. That's what I'm going to say. All right, next up we have a couple of Ravens, the first of which, kind of a big one, Anquan Bolden. He's been listed as probable with a thigh injury. He had a pretty good game against the Jets. Seven receptions for 110 yards. And if he would have had ten more points, I would have freaking won my fantasy team. Mm. Moving on. So, here he, here's the deal. He's going to play. Period. No questions asked. Probable is basically code for he's going to start. Nothing else to really add on there. The other Raven, unfortunately, isn't quite as simple. Todd Heap has been listed as questionable with a shoulder injury. Now, on Wednesday, he said that he couldn't say right now, but he was preparing like he was going to be able to play for against Cincinnati. So that's a good sign. I think that he'll start, but I don't know if he'll have a big game. This team has a pretty good secondary. Granted, the Ravens have a lot of weapons to attack a good secondary, but I think that they'll probably have the opportunity have the ability to shut down Todd Heap. So, he'll play, but I wouldn't recommend him. My last one is Beanie Wells. He was listed as questionable for this week due to a bruised knee, but I think that more realistically, it's more like doubtful. He didn't play at all in week one at St. Louis, and I doubt that he'll play week two at Atlanta. Even if he does, Atlanta has a pretty good run defense. Other than the big run that Richard Mendenhall had, the... The Falcons were able to contain the Pittsburgh Steelers running game pretty well. So I don't think that Beanie Wells is going to be an option, or going to be a viable option, may I say, even if he does start. But like I said, doubtful. So go ahead, put Beanie Wells on the bench, at least for one more week. He'll probably be ready by Oakland. But for this week, I'd have to say no. Okay, that's just about it. I don't know what I'm going to put out tomorrow, but I'll think of something. See you later.